So new technologies, be it the internet, be it social media platforms, uh, be it mobile apps, be it open source code, it's completely revolutionized the way that we as social scientists are now thinking about research and issues of peace and security. Uh, you know, for the first time, we aren't just taking a slice of data through a household survey or through focus groups. We're not just looking prospectively at information by doing panel surveys. We can take the whole darn thing. We can actually grab a lot of the data that's out there and tease from it extraordinary revelations and correlations that we couldn't have done even 10, five years ago. So in a way, it's, it's revolutionized the way we think about the methodology of research. It's also revolutionized the way that we present our research. Um, we're not just issuing reports and papers and pie charts and graphs. What we can now do is really interesting, interactive data visualizations, new ways of presenting information uh, and, and trends and patterns in ways that we couldn't conceive of before. Because we live right now in an information-saturated moment. Policymakers, programmers, our decision makers, our leaders, they're confronted with reams of data. And so us, as, as researchers and think tanks, we have to find new and creative ways to communicate our inf information to these people who are living in a world where they're constantly bombarded with data. So by creating data visualizations that they themselves can interact with, they can interrogate, I think we're entering a whole new space, a whole new opportunity uh, for, for communicating ideas. Um, in addition to that, I think that the whole new digital terrain in cyberspace is offering interesting avenues for researchers to understand networks, how groups interact, to understand nodes of power and influence, to look at future trends and retrospective trends, and to do correlate analysis that we can never even have imagined uh, in, in the past. So I think cyberspace is really the new domain. It's the next domain and the new domain for a lot of social scientists because the digital divides that used to separate the world are increasingly collapsing. It's no longer just a function of data being reproduced and produced and telephones being available in the North, in, in North America and Western Europe. Today in parts of Africa and Asia and throughout Latin America, phone penetration, internet penetration is at such a high level that in fact it's, it's, we're much more able and capable of doing research there in ways that we couldn't have done in the past. So it's, it's a radical transformation, I think, in the way that we work. And I think social scientists around the world have to equip themselves with the skills and, and, and capabilities to be able to navigate this new space.